Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Inferno Paternal and welcome back to another fighting game guide and in this video as you guys have seen the title I'm going to be giving you a jump force guide to Piccolo and now I know what I know what you're wondering nobody asked for this Inferno why are you doing this well you guys showed an enormous amount of support for my last video and I really enjoyed making it and I'm really enjoying this game so hopefully you can enjoy this journey with me on jump force and I will for sure make more Mortal Kombat and Smash videos but for right now jump force is the hype so we're gonna hop on that train real quick my boys now before I even go into the move set show you his moves and tell you uh, show you some combos or whatever I'm gonna tell you what type of character he is Piccolo is a character that has some good defense, some really good offense, and some great setups. His setups is going to be his main component, I believe. And um, yeah, before I, I can't, I can't tell you anything else without spoiling it. Let's get into it. All right, starting off with the first thing. Here is Piccolo's block, as you can see. Really cool looking block. Um, you know, cool little block. And here's his grab. Here's what his grab looks like. Pretty cool. You know, all the grabs don't have that great of range. You know, I, I honestly I feel that Gar's grab has better range than this, so his grab's not that not that good of range, but still pretty cool. Then we're gonna have the rush attack combo, or just spamming X or for uh, universal input, spamming one. You know, just smashing it. Now, of course. That's not going to happen in a real battle because he's going to press LB, left bumper to evade, obviously. But, you know, if it were to happen, then, you know, that's what it'd look like. Now, moving on to the next combo, just spamming Y or 2 for universal inputs, the heavy combo. Wow, holy crap. <laughs> All right, here is his rush up attack combo. The rush up, you know, you're holding the analog stick up while doing the rush attacks. Pretty cool. And here is going to be the down rush attacks. As you can see, it's more lower based attacks. Pretty cool. Here's what his sidesteps look like. Now, the sidesteps are going to be a huge component for Piccolo, seeming that he's going to be making lots of setups and tricking his opponent. So just remember that. And here is the smash. This is the up smash. Really cool. Here's the down smash really cool the heavy smash whoa bop wait there we go the heavy smash here's what piccolo's support attack looks like look at that pretty cool pretty cool little move to throw out to distract your opponent that's what his high speed dodge looks like pretty cool oh and another thing to note a few things to note about Piccolo is as you can see, as he gets damaged, his cape and his weighted gear comes off and he's at his weightless form right now, just like in the show. That's a cool little fun fact about him. Another thing to note about Piccolo is compared to a lot of characters, he's not that fast. He's kind of a slower based character, but his damage kind of makes up for it. So uh, yeah, he's a slower based character. Not really agile, but he'll do the job. Alright, enough with showing you guys the basic abilities. Y'all get it. He's a pretty cool character. Let's look at his main abilities, okay? We have the RTX or the RT1 for universal inputs, the special beam cannon. Shoot a beam of light to inflict damage and it can be charged by holding RT and here's the best part. You can use the stick while charging to sidestep. Now this can really mess up your opponents and you can really trip up your opponents with this, my boys. Now, all right, let me explain to y'all what type of move this is, okay? This move can be used two different ways. All right, since we can charge it, it can be used as just a little throw out like that without charging it, you know, just to kind of throw it out there from a distance, you know, or it can be used while charging as a big attack. Or it can be used as a trip up. Now showing you guys what the sidestep does. Here's what it looks like. You move and you attack. Now this can be used a different way, okay? So if you're charging it like this and you move right when he's about to attack you, you can counter him. It's a great move, trip up your opponent. Good little, keep your distance. And as you can see, it still does some pretty good damage on chip. It has a pretty good chip damage as well.
And as you can see, as you just saw from that little comparison, this attack is actually pretty fast, especially compared to attacks like Kamehameha. And so if you see if he's charging his attack, you stop charging yours and you can throw it out. That's another cool thing about this move. The fact that when you don't charge it and it's very fast, that'll give you the option to extend combos with it. Cool little tech right there. All right, moving on to the next ability, we have the RTY or the RT2 Evil Assault. Dash towards opponent and inflict damage upon impact. Now the thing about this move is that it is going to be your main offensive move. This is why that he has some good offensive abilities is because of this. This is one of the reasons why. He runs towards his opponent and he does a pretty cool combo. Here's what it looks like. There's a, there's a good amount of damage, a six hit combo, but there is one thing to note is that you have to have two levels of uh, meter in order to use it. And um, yeah, the good times for using this is when you see your opponent and he's vulnerable at a distance and you don't want to just try and charge because he'll see you charging and he may have some time to block it. But let's say if they start to charge like this, right when they start charging, you do that real fast, charge to him, do a little combo in, get some damage, and show them not to mess with you. Pretty cool move. Moving on to the next attack, we have the RT4, or the RTB, the Hellzone Grenade. Now, this is probably his best attack besides the uh, RTA with the Awakening. Fire multiple projectiles into fixed positions. Keep pressing the button to increase their number. So if you keep pressing B or 4, it will add more balls that will hit, or projectiles. Use again to send all projectiles flying towards opponent. Alright. Here's what it looks like. Here's what it looks like when I only pressed it once. As you can see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 balls. And uh, here's what it looks like when you do that. Does some pretty cool damage. There we go. When pressing RT and B multiple times during this attack, it won't have 8. It will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is that 10? I, I, dude, I don't even know. That's a lot of balls. I don't want to count all those, no pun intended. But uh, here's what it looks like when releasing them. Bop! Look at all that. Now that does a good amount of damage. 17 hits. Pretty cool. There are some bad things to note about this. It takes a while for all for you to send out all the projectiles, and your opponent can punish you for that. And when the projectiles are out on the screen like this, when they're all out there and you're just in and they're just sitting there, if you get hit without blocking it, they're going to disappear. So make sure to be extra careful when using this because this when they're set out on the battlefield right here, you have a very huge advantage over your opponent. This leaves you to do many actions. You can either just do it here and there and for them to block it and then charge them after blocking it. Or what you can do is you can trip up your opponent and make a setup. Wait for them to mess up and right when they mess up, let it on them. Another negative about this uh, move is that when launching it onto your opponent, it doesn't have a very good recovery. As you can see, it took a while for me to be able to charge at him after unleashing it. So you can't really send it out and then put a lot of pressure on him. The better, the better thing to do, I feel, is uh, after using it like this, after launching all, the, all of them onto him, I would just charge. That's what I would do, because it doesn't leave you much time to uh, put pressure on him. But it's still a good setup move to confuse your opponent. Alright, moving on to the next move, we have the RTA, or the Light Grenade RT3. Shoot a projectile to inflict damage, and like everyone's RTA, this is the Awakening ability, but let's just awaken before it. Looking pretty nice. Here we go. Here's what it looks like, boys. Look at that damage. That is some good damage. I don't know about you guys. That's a really good awakening ability right there.
And as you can see, I just connected that in a combo. So basically, if they don't evade it when using a rush attack or during your combo, you can, in theory, get a combo extension off of this and get some enormous damage. Just note that. Put that in the notes. Last thing before I end the guy, I'm going to be doing a little rundown of what all the abilities look like when you're awakened. Here is what the special beam cannon looks like. Full charge. Of course it's going to do more damage because he's in awaken. Let's see, just throwing it out there. See, throwing it out there. Pretty cool. The cool thing about this move is that if it actually hits, it's going to launch your opponent really far. Probably should have noted that in the beginning, but since you're still staying tuned, Special Beep Cannon launches its opponent very far if it hits. Right here is what the Evil Assault looks like. Hold on, let me say something. Ah, the recovery is still bad, even when you're in awakening for that. Dear goodness. What's good, son? What you gonna do now, B? Oh, oh, look, see? That's why it sucks. All right, guys, that was it for this Jump Force guide. Hopefully, I explained to you how to play Piccolo. Hopefully, I explained to you what type of character Piccolo is, and hopefully, this helped you out. And if it didn't help you out, feel free to let me know down in the comments, because this, this game just came out. I'm very new to it, and if I made a bad guide, let me know. Feedback helps out a lot, so, uh, yeah. Hope you guys are having a great day. Don't let anybody break your stride, and I'll see you guys in the next video.